welcome to my channel i am krishna raghavendran and in this tutorial of web development css we will learn what is id in css and how to use it we will also learn more properties in css so here you can see i have put the title as css now in the body section i'm going to put h1 and i'll put hello H2, no, I am going to put H1 again and here I will put hi. Now let's put H2. I am going to put welcome and then I will put H3. Again I am going to put welcome. Now let's save it and check out the live preview. So here you can see these both are H1, hello and hi and then this is H2 and this is H3. So now we are going to put the style tag in the head section. So I'll put it here. If you are not sure what the style tag is, please look at my previous tutorial to learn about CSS and how to use the style tag. Now here inside the style tag, let's put the selector. So the selector here is H1 because we are going to edit H1. So I'm going to put H1. I'll put H1 and then curly brackets. Inside this curly brackets, let's start putting properties. In the before tutorial, we saw font. We saw how to change the font size, how to change the text color and how to change the background color. So now we are going to put the text color first. So to put the text color, we put color and then here we put the color. I'm going to put coral. And now let's check out the live preview. Here you can see both the H1 are in coral because the, we are doing for H1, both of these are H1, heading one. So both of them are in coral color. Now we are going to do something called border. So I'm going to put border style first. Border hyphen style. And then there are many border styles like dashed, dotted, double, grew, etc. So I'm going to put dashed first. And now let's check out the live preview. Here you can see both the H1s have a dashed border. Now let's see how dotted looks like and let's save it. Now here you can see both of them have dots at the border. Now let's change the border color. So we, I don't want the coral, the same coral color in the border. So let's change it to black. border hyphen color and it's going to be black here you can see both the borders are in black now let's change the border width so here you can see border width I'm going to put it as 13 pixels So here you can see the borders look a bit more larger because I put 13 pixels. So let, let me put 10 so that it looks this size. Now let's do the same thing for H2s and let's change more properties. So the color is going to be blue this time. The border style can be double. And then the border color is going to be black. The border width is going to be 5 pixels. Now here you can see H2 has a double border. And then the color is in blue, the text color. The border color is in black and the width is 5 pixels. 
Now we are going to see something new called text transform. Text hyphen transform. So using this, we can capital capitalize the whole text or we can put it in lower case and there are many other options so I'm going to put upper case so here you can see all the letters are in upper case for H2 so now let's do something for H3 The color is going to be black, the text color. The border style, let's put it as dashed. The border color can be blue. The border width can be 2 pixels. And now the text transform is going to be lowercase. Now let's save it and look at the live preview. Here you can see that the color is black, the text color. The border style is in blue. The border style is dashed and the color of the border is blue. The width is very small because I put only 2 pixels. And then all the letters are in lower case. Even though I put the first letter in upper case, they are in lower case because I put the text transform property. Now let's say for this H1 you want the color to be red but for this you want the text color to be blue. So how can you do it? We have uh, both of them are H1s. So for that we use something called CSS ID. So I am going to put this H1 ID ID equals to I am going to put the ID as here I'll put the ID you can give any name for the ID I'm going to put a so for ID we put this symbol and then we put the name of the ID which is a and let's save it so here you can see that the first I first heading has all the properties but the second doesn't it is because I put ID A and for the ID A I changed the property I didn't change anything for the second heading so I'm going to put this as ID B ID equals to B and let's save it now for the B ID we can change the properties I'll put B here and then the color is going to be sky blue the border style is going to be double the border color is going to be red and then the border width is going to be 5 pixels now here you can see the all the properties are applied for the IDB H1 so in this tutorial we learned many other properties for changing the border style border color and border width and we also learned something called CSS ID we will learn what is a CSS class in our upcoming tutorials